hey guys it's Yasmin welcome back to my channel so today I have an unboxing video um, the thing is I've already opened it because uh, when it got delivered this afternoon I just wanted to check to see if everything was okay so I opened the package and uh, I found something which I wasn't too happy about so I decided that I'm just gonna do this unboxing to share with you guys what was the thing that I was unhappy about and see if you know uh, I want to return it. It came within two days. I got it on the, I ordered it online on the 4th of March and then yeah. So as usual, it comes with this um, envelope. This was how it arrived. So it came in this nice box with, you know, a um, message card and a bow. So I managed to remove it, open it without, you know, undoing the ribbon, which is nice. So this is the usual one and of course there's the dust bag and I'm just going to show you guys what I got so I decided to get another Clements wallet so yeah let me just put it there so this is the Clements wallet this is exactly the same as what I have I have the Clements wallet but with the fuchsia lining so when this came I was a bit underwhelmed I don't know but to me it just the canvas feels weird I think it just feels a bit cut board ish and so on but overall it's uh, the stitching it's nice the zipper is also nice and I got it in the rose ballerine lining so okay this is the part which i am worried about so what happened is i tried to unzip it so as you can see here now the zip is really hard to open so i i, I don't know if it's because if you can let me try to zoom in if you can see that this is not um symmetrical this is not um like you know uh yeah it's not the same so i'm not sure if that's that is what's causing the zipper to be stuck so i really have to pull it down and i feel that the zipper itself is really very hard so it's not smooth because i've had this wallet it's not smooth so this is the interior and oh my god it is lovely right yes that's what i thought that's why i wanted the monogram uh clements monogram with the rose ballerine lining but then you know what else i discovered i just felt that the um the embossing here where it says louis vuitton paris made in spain it just looks so uh it looks messy i i don't know if it's wait let me just try to zoom but to me it looks messy i'm not sure if it's because you know it's against the very light pink lining but yeah to me it just looks messy it does not look as nice so why am i comparing well you see i have the fuchsia and i don't know if you can tell but the way the canvas is like this one it's gleaming okay like this one i did not do anything to it and remember this one has it's like five years old or more i think it's like yeah i bought it like way before and this one it is brand new but it does not look as gleaming as you know the older one which is weird and it just feels so different i mean this one feels it feels good the canvas feels nice you know when i hold it but i feel that this one it's a bit I, I, I don't know I, I can't really uh, I can't really see how it is so and I'm just trying to tell myself well I think it's because this you have been using this for so long and this is brand new so it feels a bit weird a bit different but I guess the only thing that I'm really unhappy about is the fact that the zipper is stuck so even when I'm closing this it just feels like yeah so I don't want to be pulling hard on the tab. So I'm actually grabbing it by here and I'm just, I have to pull it straight. Let me just compare with the older one, okay? So bear with me because the older one I've had for some time, trust me, I remembered when I, when I first got it, the zip was so smooth. It was so, it went so perfectly well. And 
this is still as smooth although it's still sticky it's not you know it's not as smooth as before but it's definitely smoother than the new one so this one it really feels like i have to struggle and i was thinking maybe if i don't return it i can just you know zip it up to you know here and not zip it down all the way but i i don't know i don't see the point of paying for something so much and it having such stupid defects like that i'm i don't know i'm i really feel very disappointed right now i'm not too sure what to do with it because um i know my friend was saying that if i did not have the old one for comparison i would love this one i think there's some truth in it and i can't help but compare but comparison aside i'm still willing to accept the wallet as is because it's to me it's gorgeous i think i i like the shape i like that it's a zip around and i like the size it's really very compact i can keep a lot of things inside and not have to worry let me just show you what i have inside here yeah. i have a few cards here but you know so that i have tons of cards inside i even have coins here and yeah it's it's been a perfect see how smooth this is so i i, I cannot accept the fact that this wallet is not as perfect as i wish it could be and let me just show you the zipper inside is fine but it's just the zipper outside so i don't know i i think it needs i, I need some getting used to it and the fact that over here it's always stuck like i have to pull it really hard and i don't want to be pulling it hard because i don't want anything to happen to this leather tab and you know uh, number one definitely it will fade the color will change and secondly i don't want it to actually rip off so i think i um i actually called the uh, client services and they advised me to just bring in bring it to the nearest louis vuitton boutique and either exchange it or have a refund and guess what guess what happened yeah so last um, Wednesday there was the LV price hike and on Monday night I had this item in my shopping bag online but uh, it cost 610 610 Canadian dollars then on Monday and I didn't buy it because I was telling myself no let's just wait for a while I don't know why and then a few days later on the day that i wanted to buy it went up to 635 canadian dollars so together with a 13 percent tax it amounted to 717 dollars for a wallet which cost 700 dollars i think um, i was expecting this kind of quality so this one i'm really very happy about it i've talked about it i i've used it for so long and it has not given me any issues so far and it has although you know it has of course it has wear and tear it's a wall i use it every day but i'm still very happy about it that's why i decided to get you know in the same uh design and the same canvas but in a different lining so, you know what let's just do a quick comparison so i couldn't help but compare so you, you can't compare uh the size itself because this one has been stretched out and you can see that there's a bit of dent here because of how i use it but if you were to compare the um canvas itself i know that canvases over the years tend to change because it's based on how they manufacture it and based on the um factories so i'm not gonna take that into account so i'm just gonna think that okay because this is this is still brand new it's not been held so much i think this one because i've been holding onto it for so long it tends to you know uh, from the oils or moisture from my hands it tends to like coat the canvas and make it more um, shiny and so on so i'm just gonna say okay this is brand new so it's like that but let me just compare so they actually did a few different uh, changes to it so if you can see right here i'm trying not to put them yeah so if you can see clearly they actually changed a bit on the design itself so to me this looks of course this is tarnished because i've had it for some time Wait, let me try to zoom it in yeah so you can tell that they changed a bit so it's just um, probably just aesthetics i'm not sure if it's gonna last that long 
you know, in terms of, I just keep thinking that maybe they, they changed all this and then, you know, they, they, they used like, you know, we, we know the quality of Louis Vuitton has been going down and yet we're still in love with them and we still continue to buy them. But uh, I, I just can't help but compare and then see whether, you know, all these changes are, is it, are they using cheaper materials? I'm not sure. But you can even see that on the zipper itself, it looks totally different. Don't mind the tarnishing here, but the size of the zipper itself. And I really think that it's because it's a different type of zipper that's why this one is so smooth and this one I need to pull see you can even hear the difference in the sound yeah so I'm really not too happy about that but otherwise uh, the interior itself is exactly the same yeah. it's quite hard to open a, a zip around wallet if the zipper itself is stuck so you you actually really do struggle so the interior is fine the uh, stitching is also perfect I don't see any loose stitches I see that um, it's nicely done and in fact I think this one is besides this you know inconsistency I think the rest looks really well made yeah so that's that's what I have to say about this new wallet of mine. The thing about buying in store is you can make sure that the quality is there. So if you're not happy with it, you can just straight away ask for another piece or you can choose not to buy it. But in my case, because I ordered it online, I have no choice but to bring it in and try to figure out if I want my money back or I don't. Um, the thing is, I still need a wallet so so anyway that's all for today's video i say it was it was going to be short but i rambled on and on so if you have any comments about you know whether i should keep it or not or maybe by the time i post this up i would have written it i would have an update for you guys so yeah we'll see anyway till then bye